Hello everybody, this is Kevin Hill and Seth Holm with the Freight Intel Group and we're here to discuss a white paper we just published in Sonar on trucking failures and really what causes trucking failures outside of general economic recessions. So let's kick it off real quick and uh, the first question would kind of be where we get this data from. So I'll kick it over to you, Seth. Sure. Thanks, Kevin. We get this data from Broughton Capital going back to 1990 on a quarterly basis. And uh, mm -hmm. we actually measure failures as a bad debt expense to a creditor, like a default. Um, and so what that does is instead of bankruptcies, which sometimes carriers fail to file or they do so at a lag, it gives us really good timely data on uh, trucking failures. So it's not strictly bankruptcies, but it's really failures. And I think uh, the, the fleet minimum size around five to up until the, the largest fleets, right? Yeah, so looking across the 30 years of data, uh, the average fleet size of the trucking company failures is about 20, but it varies pretty wildly. Uh, the low in the data set is like under 10 trucks in 2005, mm -hmm. and it got all the way up to 45 in 2008, so almost up to that mid-size yeah. carrier yeah. range. So we have a couple recessions in there, 2001 and 2009, the Great Recession mm -hmm. being a couple of those. Uh, where, where, are, where did we see spikes in the data outside of those general recessions, kind of in trucking recessions or in, in kind of economic conditions that are bad for carriers? Right, so let's see, outside of 2000, 2001, and 2008, 2009, the big spikes we saw were 1997, 2005, and 2014. And so the reason for that is, well, now is a good example. So mm -hmm. you can have a freight recession without a U.S. economic recession. Mm -hmm. recession. We actually saw that in 2016. So really, I guess the best way to explain it would be the number three top uh, reasons we found for trucking failures. So one is- uh, We did that during a regression testing that right, we did so with, with Michigan State, Dr. Jason Miller at Michigan State. We did a regression testing with him and we found the three big predictors on what causes trucking failures outside of a general economic recession. Right, and two out of the three were uh, down contract rates, which is basically mm -hmm. a carrier's revenue, while the other one was sharply rising diesel prices, which is their, one of their main costs at 20% of revenue. So sort of to answer your question, independent of what's, ever go what's going on in the economy, if contract rates are falling and diesel prices are going up, or if either one mm -hmm. is moving against a carrier enough, you can have a lot of truck failures without a recession. And, and now we have one of those, certainly, you know, contract prices have kind of hit a top and they're coming down. Spot prices came down well over, you know, six, eight months ago, but contract prices haven't really started contracting yet on their renewals, right? That's right. But what we're seeing is, is a lot of uh, information coming out, especially from financial institutions or investment banks, analysts, mm -hmm. and basically our own data, uh, showing us that contract pricing is now um, coming down off its highs. Correct, and so we already saw in Q1 of 2019, we saw 225 trucking failures. Mm -hmm. That was up 80% year on year versus Q1 2008. And so if you annualize that, you get to like 900 trucking failures for the year. Mm -hmm. And there was only 300 in 2018, which was an all time low for that. So, so it's like triple. We're, we're, triple, we're, you have we're a tripling year over year before things really get bad. Mm -hmm. and, and to explain that is, you know, we've talked about, uh, the average carrier gets about 80% of their revenue from contracts, which were actually the government data for contract trucking rates was up 5% mm -hmm. in Q1. And we would expect that to sort of roll over in the second half of 2019 and 2020 as those lower spot prices, which have been down anywhere yeah, from yeah. 20 to 35% year on year, feed into those lower contract rates. And yeah. then if you really, you could have a really bad environment. Um, if IMO 2020, when that kicks in, sort of towards yeah. the back of 2019, if that leads to much higher diesel prices, then you could actually get an even bigger spike in failures. Yeah, so, so we're probably best case scenario, we're looking at a, a, a decline in contract rights, rates, and with IMO 2020, maybe, you know, best case scenario, a flat -ish diesel picture, right? So those, probably so, those yeah. rates aren't going to, to come down uh, diesel prices aren't going to come down for you know less activity in, in the trucking markets, but right. it could spike even a little bit, which would you know generally put a lot of 
uh, different pressures on margins, and plus we have maintenance costs that are going up, and right. the, the huge driver hiring spree and yeah. wage increases from last year, right. uh, those aren't going away uh, anytime soon, so there's a lot of pressures on uh, certainly small and mid-sized carriers right now. Right, so to sum that up, you've got revenue coming down, and you've got costs at least flat, which is wages is 40% mm -hmm. of revenue, at least flat because a lot of people yeah. got raises that won't be clawed back. You got diesel at 20% of revenue, probably best case scenario outside of a recession, you're looking at flat yeah. diesel. So 60% of your costs are flat to moving up yeah. and your revenue is coming down and this is a low margin industry. And that's the reason why we're predicting uh, at least uh, heavier activity in trucking failures for the remainder of 2019 and maybe even a, a tripling. Uh, of that compared to last year and the most in what five to ten years yeah so it sounds really bad it's mm -hmm. not really bad yet I mean it, yeah. it would be the most failures though in five or ten years we've had a pretty good environment for low trucking failures sort of all the way back to 2008 it got you had a little bump in 2013 yeah. and 14 but not not too yeah. bad on the long-term chart so uh, I guess we'll wait and see during the, the second half of 2019 and sonar users can read the full report on trucking failures uh, in Sonar, and uh, we have an article recapping uh, the highlights of this report on FreightWaves.com right now.